Seto Utsumi is hilarious and can be pretty thoughtful at times. And I want more people to read it. I searched a while for a video about it on YouTube, but couldn't find anything in English, but for a few short mentions in longer videos. There's a decent amount of Japanese videos, now that I can understand them, but most are about the movie or the miniseries. It has less than 2,000 members on Mao, and I'm sure similarly few wherever else people keep track of what they read. To me, this is a travesty, because there's no conversations about it, and also because you might enjoy it. So I guess I'll try, not well, to convince all the bots who stumble upon this video, since likely no humans will, to read Seito Utsumi. Have you seen Odd Taxi? If you have, and you enjoyed it, you better have. Then this recommendation should be simple. The scriptwriter for Odd Taxi, Kazuya Konomoto, is this manga's author and illustrator, and you can tell that this is where he refined his craft. Not that Saito Utsumi isn't refined already. And he brings to the table the same skills and style, using copious amounts of interesting dialogue, as well as the also important good ending. Trying not to spoil anything here, as people who haven't seen Odd Taxi may be watching, in the same way he gave little clues along the way and intertwined all the plot points and storylines in Odd Taxi, this slice of life manages to have a riveting and satisfying conclusion. If you still need some convincing, or haven't watched Odd Taxi for some reason, I'm going to try my best to explain what makes Seito Utsumi so great without just spoiling things, mainly any of the jokes. Seito Utsumi. The synopsis itself is pretty much non-existent. Just a single sentence with information you could gather from looking at the genre, demographics, and title. So it's definitely understandable that so few people have read it. Really, Seto Utsumi is just about two dudes, five feet apart, chilling on the stairs, chatting shit, ripping each other, and being introspective at times. If you need a lot of action in what you read, this probably is not for you, but it's not without its moments of conflict. However, it's anything but boring, and there are a few moments of action. But the bulk of the story is chock full of clever dialogue. The main draw is the two main characters, Seto and Utsumi, and their friendship as we experience it. The interactions the two have are just very realistic conversations, hypotheticals, games, and arguments for two friends to be having. I found myself laughing out loud at nearly every chapter, whether it be from their facial expressions, the unexpected twists in a conversation, story, or joke, the randomness of what Sato's saying and bringing up, or him just being an absolute idiot. Sato is a lovable idiot, but he does a little more than just that, and he isn't beyond the realm of being realistic or relatable in his stupidity. He's helpless at dealing with his crush and can switch up the conversation so randomly and often, you'd have to think he has ADHD. But you can also tell he's a really good guy at heart, which just helps make him more endearing. Utsumi is the compliment to Sato as a kind of straight man, but he's also much more than just a stock character. He can be a bit of a stereotypical anime genius at times, with a limitless knowledge of obscure things, but he can also be dumb as hell and a dick, just like a real genius can. He seems like a level-headed voice of reason, but you come to learn that he's also a bit of a clown. At a time when human interaction has been limited for a while, the relatability of both characters and how this plays out in their friendship just feels reminiscent of hanging out with a good friend, or having delirious conversations with them. Sato bringing up the most random of things and Utsumi getting super introspective for no reason. Like chatting late night with your homies. If it's not doing it for you after a few chapters, then give 9 and 10 a try at the same time. Because I think they may be the funniest chapters altogether. They also exemplify the dynamic between the two characters, side characters, and each of their personalities very well. In conclusion, 
I think you should keep your eye on Konamoto. As far as I can tell, this is his first and only published manga, aside from the story writing he's currently doing for the manga adaptation of Odd Taxi, but he wrote the script for that. And given the dialogue in Odd Taxi is even wittier, and the story more riveting, I'm excited to see what he does next. At only 73 chapters, 15 of which are technically like omakes, or extras, I don't see any reason not to give it a chance, especially when it's available on Amazon for free! So you technically don't even have to sail the high seas. Please read Seito Utsumi, it's really good.